So this is about to be a long video. Are y'all ready? Peace and blessings, beautiful people. My name is Abril, your resident herbalist, and welcome back to my channel, Beauty Herbs and Tea, where we talk about all things tea, herbs, and resources to help you start your herbal business right now. So y'all would not believe the amount of DMs that I get requesting book recommendations or even posts on my YouTube asking for a book video. Hey, where's the book video? What happened to it? Do you have any herbalism book recommendations? So I did have one, um, but I didn't like it. So I ended up taking it down. The one I had, I only recommended three books. And I realized that those three books do not encompass all things herbalism. And I wanted to include more in the actual video. I do want to go over some general housekeeping. So I am trying to purchase a farm you all and uh, I am trying to raise capital for my farm. Now I am not the kind of person to come out and just ask for money. I am working on that. <laughs> I'm working on being humble. So that is why I try to provide you all with so many products that I can give to you of value. That's why I started my tea business school. That's why I started these courses to help me raise the capital for buying my farm. I have not spent any of my money that I've made on my business this year because it's all going towards getting me a farm and turning beauty herbs and tea into a farm. So I'm looking for more ways to raise capital to purchase my farm and I thought of doing a possible Patreon and I wanted to get your, your feedback on it and just if you'll be interested in something like that. So I actually record so many videos daily of behind the scenes of what it's like to run a tea business. I'm recording videos on, you know, me being in my office and fulfilling orders. I even record behind the scenes videos of me making tea and making other herbal remedies and herbal preparations and just giving tips and tricks on how to run a tea business. And I never post them. And I thought that it would be great to possibly post them to my Patreon community. So have you all sign up and get these exclusive behind the scenes video of a tea business, of a herbalist, of just medicinal remedies and things to take. And I even get a little vulnerable in those videos. I talk about some of my health issues and my health struggles. So let me know if you would be interested in a Patreon. If you're not interested, let me know too. <laughs> <laughs> but again, everything is going towards supporting me buying a farm for beauty herbs and tea. So drop in the comments down below if you would be interested in something like that. So let's go ahead and get into this video, this much anticipated video that y'all have been asking me for. So this is going to be a part four either part three or part four to my how to become an herbalist series. If you have not seen any of those videos, go ahead and click on these links up here and that will pretty much give you a rundown on my series on how to become an herbalist. The first video, I actually talk about the steps you can take to become an herbalist. I go over the different types of herbalism and what is going to be right for you. The second video, I go over actually how to find an herbalism school that's right for you and I also give you herbalism school recommendations and again you can click on that up here and in this video we're going to discuss my top herbalism book recommendations to help you become an herbalist using the self-taught method. I'm looking at the books right in front of me and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 13 books y'all so go ahead grab your snack grab some water grab some tea and get comfortable and let's go ahead and get into these book recommendations okay so i think i'm going to break this up into categories because i do have like 13 books <laughs> so the first category is going to be the basic beginners books to help get you started and then category two and I guess category three are going to be supplemental books to enhance your learning. The last category will be books to help you learn about indigenous herbalism and folk herbalism. So there are books that I have found useful that teach me more about the cultural aspect of herbalism. So let's go ahead and get into the first category, the top three herbalism books that I recommend for beginners. So these are the same books that I talked about in my previous video. So if you watch that video, 
video, go ahead and skip to this section to learn more about the supporting books. But I'll go ahead and get into those recommendations now. So my number one all time favorite book you all that I recommend to all of my clients to help them get into herbalism to help them start learning about herbs is this book right here. And it is I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me get a close. There we go. It is the Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine and it is by what's the person's name? Andrew Chevalier. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> so I love this book. Um, I love this book primarily because it is a great basic beginner's guide to herbalism. It has a large selection of herbs in here. And honestly, the main reason why I love this book, y'all, is because it has pictures. <laughs> it has pictures. I don't know if you're like me, but I have ADD and I cannot just read words. I will read the same paragraph like 15 times and not know what it said five minutes later. So I need those that visual in books to help me grasp the information. And this book has just that. This book has a lot of vivid pictures and it covers all the basics. It covers preparation. It goes into the herbs. It gives you properties. It tells you how to make the herbs. It gives you some contraindications. And then in the end of the book or in the back of the book, there are also some remedies as well. But again, it's a great all around book it does not go like too too in depth with some of these herbs which is why you will need supplemental books which is why i probably have over 70 to 80 books so i just want to show you the light is probably too bright so you can't really see but here are some of the pictures. So this is time over here. So it gives you a picture of the herbs. It tells you about the actual plant itself. It tells you some preparation and their uses. It gives you cautions. You learn some research and its habitat and key constituents and key actions down here. The one thing this does not have is herbal energetics, which the other books I will show you will have that. So if you don't buy any book, go out and get that book like now. Okay, <laughs> so the second book that I recommend for beginners if you are new to herbalism is going to be this book called Herbal Medicine for Beginners by Ren and Kaja from Commonwealth Herbs. Now, I love this because Commonwealth Herbs is a popular online herbalism school. So if you are learning with them, you can get this book to supplement your learning. This book is, again, a great book basic basic book it's a great book for people who are brand new to herbalism and they don't know any of the concepts and they just want to learn the basics so they cover basic tools basic preparation methods they cover how to actually make your herbal remedies then they actually have their top pick for their herbs so the downside to some of these books is that the authors include herbs that they like and that they primarily use which is why you have to get a wide variety or wide a wide range of books because authors will favor certain kind of herbs so just a forewarning that the herbs in this book are favored by the authors who have used these herbs and, and who have become expert with these herbs but other than that again a good basic book so it also has pictures as well again not sure what you can see because this light is so bright this is calendula right here a page on calendula so let's see what it has it has the qualities oh it has the energetics which is great it has the taste which is also great if you're trying to get into tea blending that's something that you need to know you need to know the energetics so here they use qualities as energetics so it is used interchangeably sometimes they have medicinal parts the herbal actions, preparations, and effective application and recommended dosaging. Um, I believe also in the back too, they also have recipes. So they have actual recipes, medicinal recipes that you can use as well. So that is this book. So the last book that I recommend for my top books for beginners is going to be not the last book of this video. We got like 
12 more books to go <laughs> but the last book i recommend in this category is going to be the modern herbal dispensatory by thomas easley now he is actually the owner of a, another herbalism school called the eclectic herbalist the eclectic herbalism school something like that i'll put it on the screen or in the description box and so a lot of people that own schools they end up writing books too so again it is great for you to supplement your learning so this book is great for beginners however it is a little more in depth it goes a little more in depth than the other previous books it goes a little bit more in depth as far as the sciencey side i guess i can say is that a word sciencey we're gonna call it a word today. <laughs> so this is more of a sciencey book, I feel like. And I like that because I do, I'm a nerd. I want to know if this herb, what property is in this herb, and if this herb is soluble with this, you know, with this uh, method or water or glycerin. And so this will tell you that. This goes over solubility. And again, a lot of those um, concepts, those phytochemistry concepts that you will learn in herbalism program. It also has a section on advanced extraction techniques. So again, it goes a little bit more in depth, well actually a lot more in depth than some of these herbal, these other herbal books on herbal preparations. So you will learn again, like formulas, mathematical formulas on how to extract these properties from these herbs. They talk about percolation extracts, fluid extracts, and different kinds of extracts in this book so again that's why I, I, I like it because I get to you know know if I wanted to know like the proper ratio to alcohol per herb you know and I wanted to be able to include that on my labels this is a good book for that it also has different formulas in the book as well towards the back it actually has a large amount of material medica as well which I also appreciate so again overall great book okay so i actually had to step away and do some zoom calls so it is about um six hours later <laughs> so enough about that let's go ahead and get right back into this video because i'm hungry okay i'm hungry and i haven't ate all day <laughs> i've been in front of a camera whether on my computer or you know for you all all day so let's go ahead and get back into the video okay so we already covered the first category which are my top three recommendations for beginners or top three book recommendations for beginners and an honorary mention to go in there is rosemary glatt stars um, medicinal herb book i believe that's what it's called i'll put it on the screen if that's not what it's called i cannot find it anywhere i believe i lent the book out so this next category of books are going to be supplemental so books that you want to buy in addition to having your primary books honestly you can get all three of the first books i mentioned you don't need to honestly i would recommend getting two out of the three um the encyclopedia of herbal medicine book and one of the other two that i showed you and then get one or two books from this category so this is to supplement your learning so the first book i'm going to talk about in here is going to be this book and th this is the National Geographic's Medicinal Herbs book. The National Geographic's Guide to Medicinal Herbs, the world's most effective healing plants. So honestly, this book looks just like the Encyclopedia for Herbal Medicine book. And you will find a lot of books that look like this. I don't know why. <laughs> I think that this book actually copies off from of that book. But this book is a little different. It does not have all the herbs, but I I do love it y'all because y'all know what I like it also has pictures as well so this is a picture of licorice root and I love this book because it goes into a little bit more of the cultural aspect not a lot but a little bit more so you get to learn more about where the herb comes from its origin how it's grown the climate it's grown in they even give you a little bit on traditional uses of the herb a little bit I do find that some information is missing like I know that some herb was used by Native Americans or by Africans and they may not have it in here they may or may not so uh, that's westernized herbalism for you <laughs> but um, it does go more into the cultural side than the herbal medicine for beginners book however this does not have all herbs so just you know be aware of that um, 
what else so it talks about cultivation and harvesting therapeutic uses how to use it and it does give you some precautions but look at these beautiful pictures this is mullen the light is so bright you probably can't even see <laughs> you probably can't even see the second supplemental book that i recommend getting is this book which is important if you are looking to become a herbalist this book is essential if you plan on a practicing herbalism this book is called the a to z guide to drug herb vitamin interactions and this book is essential because you will be recommending these herbs and you need to know if these herbs have any contraindications with any vitamins or drugs that are already on the market now this book is you know because their herbalism and medicine is steadily changing you know some of the information in this book may be somewhat outdated i want to say this is the second edition but it has a good list i will say that this does not also have all of the herbs as well there is another book that i also have that i use in conjunction with this and um if i can i will put it in the description box i cannot find it again look it out somebody and they have not returned it but that book i use with this and that also has other drugs and herbs in here so if you do plan on doing consultations this next book is great for that. I actually really love this book. It's a big book. This is called The Prescription for Nutritional Healing by Phyllis A. I don't know if you pronounce her name or their name, Balch, Bach, B-A-L-C-H, whatever. But it is a big old book full of information. Now, I love this book because it gives you nutritional recommendation for disorders and for wellness issues. So it'll it's great to use as a supplement if you plan on recommending full protocols, full herbal protocols. So let's just say if you have a client that has a digestive issue, this book will actually give you recommendations on vitamins to take. So what vitamins do you take with this digestive issue? What other supplements can you take? What's good for that? As well as diet dietary i'm not sure if they are had they give a lot of dietary recommendations let's see they do so they also give dietary recommendations it's not you know in the terms or in the forms of you know this is your diet this is your meal plan but it will say avoid this eat this don't eat this don't do that so i love this book for that okay so the next book that i recommend for supplemental reasons is going to be this book this book is the women's herbal apothecary by jj purcell i actually really love this book this is a great book for anyone looking to get more into women's health so women's herbalism you want to help clients that you know have issues have women's issues so whether they're going through PMS issues or hormonal issues hormonal imbalance birth um, after birth um, menopause any kind of women's issue this book is actually pretty cool it gives you recommendations it gives you actual um additional um formulas for it and recipes for it and it gives you a little information it does not go too deep into the actual disorder it's less on that and more so here is the remedy for that so like let's just see there is a section on endometriosis so this is how the book looks the pictures are not that great let's see if it focus I don't know if y'all can see this but the pictures are really not that great but I'll just read to you what it says so this is a recommendation for endometriosis so it tells you about endometriosis and then it tells you which herbs work for endometriosis and then it gives you some actual recipes to help with that so it gives you a tincture and then a tea for like heavy bleeding um, a tea for inflammation a tea for a abdominal care um it's pretty cool <sighs> all right i told y'all this video is going to be long so i hope y'all not tired if y'all need to take a break go ahead and take a break i will include an ad somewhere in here so that you can go ahead and stop and take a break we are not done yet y'all let's go ahead and move on to the last category of books that is going to be books that teach you more about indigenous herbalisms based off of cultures again 
that is something that is missing in a lot of westernized herbalism in these books they will not i don't know why but most of the books do not include information on the indigenous uses of these herbs so that is an area of herbalism that i am particularly interested in and so i have been picking up a lot of books that will teach me about indigenous herbalism so let me go ahead and go over some of my top picks so this first book i actually really really love this book is put it up close so you can see I know there's a glare so I'm not even sure if you can see it but this book is the African medicine book a complete guide to Yoruba healing science and African herbal remedies by Tariq M. Sawandi um I got this book some of you may have seen this book in my previous book haul video and I had just started reading it and I actually really like it so this book talks a lot about Yoruba African medicine in particular and it gives you the breakdown of Yoruba medicine so if you're unfamiliar with Yoruba African medicine it will tell you about you know the religion and the medicinal practices that are used in the religion so it breaks down Orishas and all of the Orishas and how you know each Orishas has their own herbal or their own herbs to recommend it even goes over some of the ancient um, healing practices and what they will do to help recommend herbs to someone it's a it's a whole thing it's so amazing learning about your ancestors and how they heal people so if somebody was to recommend in Europe of medicine in the religion if in order to find out you know the what is going on and the recommendations they would have to consult with the Orishas I love this I love that it goes into the ancient practices or the traditional practices that's what I want to learn I don't just want to learn okay this is the herb that my ancestors use I want to know how they used it and so I love this book for that so if you're interested in um, African medicine specifically Yoruba African medicine get this book next book that goes in line with traditional native medicine is going to be this book this is called Chinese herbal medicine for beginners by Carrie Shahan Shahan I don't know how to say that um <laughs> but that's this book right here I like this book because a lot of westernized medicine pulls from Chinese medicine or traditional Chinese medicine you can actually go to certain universities and learn uh TCM that is the abbreviation for traditional Chinese medicine and I have found the concept of TCM a little complicated <laughs> to understand at times because of all of the concepts and this book does break it down into layman's term so I like this book for that um let's see if it has pictures you know we gotta check the pictures y'all we gotta check the pictures um it does have pictures so again this book does not go too much in depth with um the herbs and the background of the herbs so you just get basic basic information um it's more so an introduction on tcm and how tcm is used and the herbs in tcm it does not go into depth with the actual herbs like i'm reading an herb right here and it just has the herb the uh the chinese name and the parts used and a little blurb on the herb like that's pretty much it so you would not use this book as a primary book again this book would be more so as a supplement again to give you an intro into TCM you have not watch my Belize video you need to stay to the end and click on the video or click up here and watch that video because in that video first it was amazing I went on an herbal a medicinal herbal indigenous culture retreat to Belize and I actually learned about so many amazing herbs and I learned about the Mayan culture and how the ancient Mayans and Garifuna people use these traditional herbs and it's amazing like Belize culture is so awesome it's so bomb and so I used these three books to learn about Belizean culture and when it comes to herbalism and so I actually mentioned these books you can't probably see them <laughs> but I mentioned these books in that video 
the last book that I really can't recommend because I have not read it yet but it is really popular amongst the herbalism you know kind of sector is this book this book is called working the roots um, over 400 years of traditional African American healing by uh, Michelle E Lee I have not read this book y'all so I don't even know what it's about and I've tried to read it but I just haven't had the time <laughs> I haven't had the time hopefully I'll be able to read it over the holidays so basically in a nutshell this book is supposed to talk about a lot of the herbs that the our ancestors these slaves use and what they brought over as far as the herbs and the herbal remedies what they brought over from Africa and what was practiced once they got to the Americas and the other parts you know of the slave triangle and what um, actual healing practices and healing uh, ways that are the slaves our ancestors use so I am excited to use this book or to read this book I will report back to y'all possibly in part two of this this video to tell you how I love this book so that is it you all I hope I can get this video to under 30 minutes <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed my updated herbal book recommendation video if you have stayed this long you might as well go ahead sit down and stay a little bit longer and binge watch a few more videos go ahead and watch this video right here this is my book Lee's Travel Blog where I actually talk about all of the herbs and how I use this book to find medicinal herbs in the forest in the jungle so go ahead and watch that video and as always stay safe stay healthy and stay blessed and I'll see everybody in the next video bye